How you doing today? Welcome to Honest Talk. I'm your host, Twin Inc. And today, the topic we're talking about is going to be create your own happiness. And you know what? Before we get into create your own happiness topic, <clears throat> early uh, I recorded a video about yes men. And I talked about Michael Jordan. And I talked about critical thinking and doing your own research. So um, it was brought to my attention. And I don't claim to know it all. But I do talk to myself to do my own research and development as well. So uh, the statement that I made earlier about Michael Jordan um, investing in prisons, that is incorrect but correct. Like, how is that correct? Well, the correct is it's Michael Jordan but not our Michael Jordan. See, there's a person who lives, uh, oh, I can't remember where he's at, but I'm going to post this picture up probably like right here <laughs> so you can see. But there's another Michael Jordan who lives in Texas. Michael Jordan, I don't, do, I don't know no names, but his name is Michael Jordan, and he's the person that um, invests in jail. So it was just uh, because the name was very popular, I mean, Michael Jordan, and people just took it and ran with it. But it's not the Michael Ernest Jordan that we know of. He doesn't invest into uh, jail. So that's one thing I do want to clear up. Um, so I want to give a shout out to my, one of my colleagues, my name is C. Kearney. Appreciate you, bro. If you're watching the show, keep it on this feedback and support love you man but also anyway so back to the main topic create your own happiness right um you should not expect anyone else to make you happy it is your goal in your life to make yourself happy you shouldn't expect that in your your wife your girlfriend your boyfriend your husband your kids no those things, well, not those things, but those people are not expected to do anything for you. I mean, they should, but they're not expected to. If you want to create happiness for yourself, you have to first make yourself happy. I saw a post earlier this week about Sanaa Lathan. I'm sorry, the beautiful Sanaa Lathan. And she said she's going to focus on herself, focus on her happiness before she does anything else as far as you know, I read the whole article, but I'm sure it has to do with dating, marriage, relationship, businesses, whatever the case may be. She's going to focus on herself first. And I was like, you know what? I think we all should do that. Because your expectations will fall short if you rely on someone else to make you happy. You'll be frustrated. You'll be upset. And you're sitting there upset because you're expecting this person to do certain things to help and make you happy. But they're not. You're upset. You made it brought to their attention. The change has to happen. So you expecting them, waiting for them to change to be to, to help make you happy. And all you're doing is getting more mad, more upset, more frustrated. So you have to create your own happiness. So you have to make some decisions that, uh, from the outside looking in, or just just in general, you think, man, if I do this, what's this going to happen? Well, let's think about your current situation. If you do nothing where you're currently at now, <laughs> you already know what's happening. You're frustrated. You're upset. Whatever the case may be. It could be financially. It could be physically. It could be sexually. Uh, emotionally. All those things. Those things, you're, if, you're, if you're right now in a situation in your life where you're upset about something that does not change, it is up to you. It's up to you to create and make your own happiness. I don't care what scenario or situation that you're in. You do what's going to make you happy. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you know, when we die, you know, we'll be um, we'll be tasked or asked about our actions. What did you do? You know, I mean, I know I'm, it could be tasked on many things, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about your happiness because you only get one life, so. You know, and you control the narrative of your life. You do. So it can start with, hey, you know what? I don't need a workout partner. I'm going to go to the gym myself and work out by myself. Because I need to first work on me. Yeah. If I need to go to the movies by myself, I'm going to do that because it's for me. If I want to go out and eat a good lavish place by myself, that's fine. <laughs> that's me. I'm happy. 
you know. Of course, we all like to have somebody with us to enjoy the experience of the happiness that we're doing. But some people's happiness are not on the same level as your happiness. So, I mean, of course, you need what you need to do is find out what the other person happy. I mean, of course, it's nice to enjoy things with other people. I'm not going I'm not going to sit there and say it's not. Yeah, I love be able to do the the funnest thing I love to do with my significant other or a friend or whoever who enjoys it just as me. So, but yes, if you want to uh, help create that uh, joint <laughs> happiness partnershipness, <laughs> probably made a word there, but it's okay. First, you need to find out. What is their happiness? You know, if you want to take on the task of trying to worry about someone else and bring them into your life or bring them into your happiness spot, first find out what's their happiness. What do they like? What do they want? Do they enjoy the same thing you do? Because you never want to force something on somebody to, um, to do something that they don't want to do. Now, they may say, oh, I'll do it. You know, I'm going to support you, blah, 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 blah. They don't want it because, A, they feel obligated to support if it's significant other or someone that you're dealing with, so they don't feel they have to do it. But the difference is, have to do it and want to do it is two different things. I'd rather you tell me that you don't want to do it. I'm cool. My mommy little upset first. I might be on. Be honest. I'm like, dang, you don't want to. All right, cool. But I'd rather you be upfront to me and say you don't want to do something because I don't want to force it on you. I don't want you to be like later on. Or you might use that for a later argument. Say, well, I did this with you, and I really didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway, so now you have to do this. See, I'm the type of person, um, if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. I'm at the point in my life, I'm a grown man. <laughs> if I don't like something, I'm going to say something. See something, say something. Just don't sit on it. Because all you're doing is building up that frustration inside, and now you walk around a walking time bomb, Ready to go off on the slightest thing. It might be something minor, but because you've been carrying on this weight on your back, all of a sudden you explode off one little small thing and they look at you like you crazy. Like, man, what's wrong with him? Oh, he just him. He just crazy. No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> you making me crazy. Y'all making me crazy. <laughs> but once again, create your own happiness, self love, you know, self educate, self read, um, shoot. If you once a week you should go to massage by yourself and get a nice massage. Now, no, 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 no deep tissue. See, the deep tissue is going to work. It's going to be painful. So let's be clear. Let's get a regular massage. <laughs> when you go there, I just want to be rubbed. And the night goes off, whatever. Or if you want to, you know, work out, sit in the sun up a little bit, do that. Have some good music to play. Put yourself in a positive state so you can have a better mindset. So you can be a better person for whatever environment that you're in. So I just want to just hit y'all with that little short nugget this this morning. But in the day, create your own happiness. It starts with you. Um, so guys, a few announcements. So finally, we're going to uh, shoot our first filming this weekend for the, the CHOP team, the official podcast channel. Now, I still have Honest Talk while y'all peep. Which would be me, Twin Zinc, and whoever may join my show. But this is just me on my personal level. But I will have my co host with me to view and share our thoughts on many subjects. No subject is at the table. So follow the Chop Team on IG. Follow Twin Zinc on IG. And of course, on, on our uh, Instagram pages, we'll have our links to other social medias like our podcasts, YouTube channels, um, even our personal own pages that you want to follow and get to know us better. But feel free to ever, always reach out to us. Any questions, anything you think we should talk about, listen, we create our own narrative here. There's no, no one's being, no one's telling us what to say, when to say, and how to say it. So once again, I appreciate everybody who's watching. Like, share, subscribe. Um, but have a blessed, wonderful day.